This next series of films highlights the development of a catapult launch system for the ME-163. Throughout ME-163 testing, it was clear that the excessively long takeoff rolls over unimproved airfields would be an impediment to the aircraft ever being an effective weapon system. On that long takeoff roll, large amounts of fuel were burned simply getting the aircraft off the ground. More fuel burned on takeoff meant that less fuel was available for powered flight time, and that led to fewer opportunities to engage opponent aircraft. A rocket-powered catapult system was seen as an effective way to overcome many of the challenges posed by a long takeoff roll. As you can see from the footage here, this was a rail-based system that used standard railroad hardware. The launch cart used to launch the aircraft was propelled by standard jet-assisted takeoff bottles, not dissimilar from those bottles used to lift heavy transport aircraft into the air. This second launch attempt shows us that the engineers are getting closer to a workable system. We're about to see a crash that will be very familiar to those of you who have ever built a Balsa airplane. This final launch attempt will be largely successful, and it was felt that while this would have been an effective way to launch the ME-163, the large infrastructure requirements necessary to build a working catapult system ultimately led to the project's demise. There was a tremendous lack of flexibility in positioning forces where they would be needed because of a rail launch system, and that infrastructure would be vulnerable to enemy attack. Note that the aircraft being launched here on each of these attempts are replicas of an ME-163 and not an actual ME-163 aircraft. 